Knife crime has seen a dramatic increase here in the UK since 2012, with almost 41,000 offences with a knife or sharp object reported to the police in 2021. In this video, we're going to look at the different aspects of knife crime and what the UK government is doing to tackle the rising concern of knife crimes in the UK. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest security guarding news and don't forget to give us a like if you enjoy our videos. What is knife crime? While there is no official government definition for knife crime, it most commonly refers to violent crimes where a knife or sharp object is involved. There are, however, a range of crimes the term covers, including threaten or cause harm with a knife, robbery with a knife, transportation of a dangerous weapon, or selling a knife to someone under the age of 18. What are the reasons for knife crime? There is no specific answer as to why we've seen an increase in knife crime over the past 10 years. There have been several different explanations given by politicians, police and experts in crime. Falling police numbers The former head of the Metropolitan Police Department believes that the rise in crime is due to the decrease in police officers. The rise in crime correlates with police data as since 2010, 23,500 police jobs have been cut in England and Wales. In that time, we have seen the rates of knife crime increase. While measures such as CCTV and security guards can help reduce crime, it's easy to see a correlation between the reduction in police and increase in knife crime. Violent media influences Another factor that is often labelled as a contributor to knife crime in the UK is the influence of media. This can be films, television, music and video games. Studies now show there is a correlation between violent media and aggression in an individual, but many experts still disagree in terms of how much evidence is needed to support that there is a link between violence in media and real-world violence. Social media and knife crime Social media is seen to be putting more pressure on young people to behave and act in a certain way. Images and videos of knives being posted on social media let young people know exactly what weapons are being carried and where. This could be leading them to feel the need to carry a knife themselves for protection based on the number of weapons that are out there. Incidents of knife crime are said to occur from social media when statements made on these platforms get blown out of proportion and result in violence. Knife crime in London London is seen as the capital of knife crime here in the UK. In 2021, a total of 30 young people became victims to knife crime. Incidents of knife crime have seen a steady increase in London since 2015, peaking at 15,900 offences in 2019 to 2020. While there is a decrease in knife crime, this is likely due to national lockdowns that were placed during this period of 2020 to 2021. Knife crime campaigns include weapon surrender bins, lives not knives, and the knife angel sculpture. What are the police doing to stop knife crime? They have several different powers given to them to prevent and reduce the threat of knife crime. Stop and search with reasonable grounds. It's the most common type of search carried out by the police. It can be done if an officer has a reason to suspect you might be carrying something that fits into these following categories. Illegal drugs, a weapon, stolen property, or something that could be used to commit a crime. While knife crime is a persistent issue in the UK, Multiple different sources are taking measures to combat the rise of knife crime, such as the public helping each other to stay safe from the threat of knife crime, as well as the government providing more initiatives and improving police presence and powers to stop it. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest security guarding news. Thanks for watching.